Hey friends, so my name might not be Madison, but for the sake of simplicity, we'll just call me that. I'm a world famous music influencer, so if you're into music and MSA, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. Growing up, my dad and I would listen to tons of music. Rock, jazz, hip hop, rap, everything. Dad worked at a concert arena and told me tons of stories about the shows. One day, I insisted on seeing one, so he took me with him. I'm telling you, Madison, you'll love it. They'll blow your mind. Yay! I'm so excited! I watched the entire concert from my dad's tiny office window and was mesmerized by the sound and energy of the crowd. After that, it became routine for dad to sneak me into his office every other weekend to watch the shows. In ninth grade, I decided I wanted to share my passion for music with the world and dreamed of being a music influencer. So I created an Instagram account and started posting reviews and videos from the concerts I went to. My content quickly gained attention, and soon I had a steady stream of followers. Then one day, a local band contacted me on my Insta and offered me free tickets to their concert if I posted about them. It was then I knew I was well on my way to my dream of being a professional music reviewer. It all felt like a dream. I mean, I went from watching concerts through small windows to getting free tickets. Over the summer after high school, I was obsessed with a rising music superstar who had just left a huge boy band to start his own solo career. His name was, um, let's call him Barry Skies. I had a crush on him and I was dying to see him perform live. Dad suggested I reach out to him for free tickets, but I wasn't too sure. He's one of the most famous upcoming artists under 20 in the world. I really want to, but I'm not sure they'd think I'm worth it. Sweetheart, people won't know what you want if you don't ask for it. I say try it. It was worth a shot, so I sent Barry a message on his Instagram, not really expecting a response. Little did I know that this single action would change my life forever. Cause not only did I score front row tickets, but I also got a meet and greet with him. At the concert, the arena went dark and everyone started screaming. Barry stepped out of the smoke and walked up to me. And before I knew it, he took my phone. Whoa, I was about to get the best live stream of the night. Um, do you think he's just gonna keep it? Who cares? I'm live on Insta. My followers must be going gaga right now. Eventually, he did give me my phone back, along with a wink, making all the girls in the arena scream. She? Was he flirting with me? After the concert, I went backstage and was greeted by Barry's manager. Thank you so much for the tickets. I you certainly are an impressive young lady. As soon as you went live earlier, the sales for Barry's new record skyrocketed. I was honestly flattered. Right then, I remembered my dad's words and had the most awesome idea ever. So, I have like 5 million followers on Instagram and TikTok combined. I can give Barry's fans a behind the scene look at life on the road. He's not active on social media, so I can really help him out. Hmm, it's certainly an interesting idea. We've never done anything like that before. I'll talk with the team. As she walked away, I was excited that she was even considering it, but I never knew that this moment would create a domino effect that would lead me to where I am today. Stay tuned to find out how my dad's advice changed the course of my life. While I waited, I spotted candy on the snack table and grabbed a handful. Right then, this dude wearing a baseball cap and sunglasses came up to me. The food is for the band only, and I don't huh? remember you on stage. Who are you? I'm mad. Madison. Ugh, security just lets anyone in here. Hey, I was invited back here by Barry's manager. Wait, you're that girl from the front row. The influencer? The one and only. Well, I hope you got the numbers you were desperate for. Um, hope Barry got the numbers he was desperate for. My fans drove up his record sales, so if you work for him or something, you're welcome. My heart pounded as I faced the jerk. Right then, Barry's guitarist did a slow clap. Tell him, influencer girl. Stay out of it, Leilani. No way. I gotta shout out anyone who can take on Barry Skies' massive ego and win. What? He was Barry? Barry Skies? OMG, I didn't recognize him with the glasses and baseball cap. I was horrified. I guess that's why they say never meet your idols. Right at that moment, Barry's manager returned and told how the team wanted me to join them on the tour. Um, actually, I'm not so sure now. And this is what we'll be paying you. When I saw the contract, I had to take it. I could use the money to buy tickets to a music festival, fly first class, get a whole new wardrobe, buy a car, okay, not buy a car, maybe rent an awesome car. I'm all yours. No way. She's not on my tour. Yes way. You need to engage your fans and she'll help you do that. See you tomorrow. Aww. Saying that, she walked away, taking Barry with her. At home, I begged my parents to let me go and once I promised to call every day, 
They agreed. I packed my bags and was off on my first ever tour with a band. My first night backstage was nerve-wracking. Barry was giving me the stink eye, but then Leilani came over and put her arm around me, making me feel better. Hey, it's nice to have another girl my age here. Yeah, if I can survive Mr. Ego over there, Barry's not so bad once you get to know him. You should watch out for Mrs. Skies, the momager, though. Oh. She's his mom? Mrs. Skies had everybody under her thumb. It was obvious why Barry was so grumpy. Even the sound techs, Leilani, and the lighting guy were all scared of her. I was relieved I didn't have to deal with her. My job was to post videos of Barry performing with great captions, go live on Instagram, and keep everyone updated about what was happening backstage. The tour was going great, and I was getting tons and tons of new followers, and they all had one request. Give us an interview with Barry. Take pics with Barry. But how? No, oh, I was so frustrated with the guy. He was always in a bad mood. Leilani, you're playing the tune wrong. Ugh. Start it again. Barry, I am not feeling well today. I am trying. Give me five minutes. Fine. Everyone take five. I don't know how you do it. He's such a baby. Well, we've known each other since we were kids. Barry used to be more easygoing. I think he's just overworked. He just needs a little more fun in his life. A little fun, huh? I'd give him fun. That night when Barry opened the dressing room door, fake spiders dropped. <laughs> on him. The guy totally freaked out. Hey, what the? Who did this? Leilani and I cracked <laughs> up watching Mrs. Skies trying to pick up the fake spiders. But when he realized they weren't real, he started laughing. Everyone else looked at him like he was crazy. But then they started laughing too. After that day, whenever Barry had a bad day, I'd pull a prank to make him laugh. I'd put a fake snake in his suitcase, fill his dressing room with balloons, have his favorite caramel apples delivered, but with onions instead of apples. Everyone loved hearing Barry's laughter and it felt like Barry was finally being himself. He was more relaxed, and everyone had a blast on stage. Whilst everyone was having fun, in the background, his momager would be tapping her foot, reminding Barry that he's the star and this is work. I could see why he was so tense all the time. One night, I went to listen to Barry and his bandmates rehearse. As soon as I sat down on a chair, there was a loud fart noise. I was so embarrassed, but Barry just laughed like crazy. Someone had put a whoopee cushion there. Gotcha. What? You thought I wouldn't get back at you? I realized then that he knew I was the one behind the pranks. From then on, Barry and I started a prank war. We kept trying to make each other laugh. We had fun being silly together. His glares turned into smiles, and I felt the butterflies again. His mom, on the other hand, was so mad, always trying to find out who was behind the pranks, but Barry never told her anything. If only she knew, I'd be out of a job. One time after the show, I snuck onto the stage to record a live session at Barry's piano, but stopped the moment I heard Barry's voice. I didn't know you played so well. Uh, it was nothing. I'll just go. No, please, play a little more. As I played, Barry hopped on the piano and joined in. We finished the song, and he smiled at me. I suddenly realized I was live to millions of people. People. And there you have it. Barry Skies live and unfiltered. See you tomorrow on the road. So sorry, I forgot I was live. It's okay. Much better than a bunch of spiders falling on my face. I won't say I'm sorry for that. You needed some fun. I know. It was good to laugh like that. It's just that mom pushes you really hard. Yeah. I know she wants me to succeed, but sometimes it's too much. I wish I could tell her to just ease up. Give me some time to bond with my band. Give me time to breathe. Why don't you tell her then? My dad told me once, people won't know what you want if you don't tell them. Tell me what, Madison? Before Barry could reply, Mrs. Skies appeared. She must have heard it all. Oh. We're paying you, so hurry up, Madison. In the van. Barry, you in the limo. Mom. I'm taking the van with the rest of the band. Barry, honey, you're the lead singer. I don't think it's a good idea. Mom, I wasn't asking. Come on, Madison. This wasn't gonna end well, but from there on out, Barry and I got along much better and realized we had a lot in common, like our favorite movies, books, and so much more. We became really good friends. One night, Leilani told me how it was Barry's birthday, but with all the concerts and touring, even he had forgotten about it. We decided to do something special, so we invited Barry to join us for a night of pizza, cake, and our favorite MSA videos. Wow, um, thanks a lot. I totally forgot. But we remembered, come on, blow out the candles and make a wish. I so want to party with you guys, but I've got an early interview with MTV. Barry, you deserve to have some fun. Okay, just one slice. Mm, maybe two or three. <laughs> we laughed, danced, and enjoyed the evening. Before we knew it, we had fallen asleep until the next morning when a loud phone ringing woke us up. Oh no, I'm late. 
Your interview! We rushed Barry to the TV station in his limo, and his momager was waiting, tapping her foot. Just what are you thinking, Barry? This interview is very important. I'm here, aren't I? Chill, Mom. Wow, chill? This is all you're doing. You think I don't know? Ever since you got here, Barry is unfocused, undisciplined. You're a distraction. I never meant to get in the way. You're fired. Leilani and Barry both looked shocked. I couldn't believe it. My first job and I was getting fired, but I couldn't just stay silent. Fine, I'll leave. But if you think trying to control Barry's life is more important than letting him be himself, then you don't deserve to be his manager. With that, I walked away. Once back at the hotel, as I was packing my things, I heard a knock. It was Barry. I've never had anybody stand up for me like that. Well, it should be your mom, but you know I'm happy to be here for you. Don't go. I just got fired, Barry. It's my tour, and I want you on it. I don't know. All I've done is mess things up for you. The interview today was great. Everything has been lately. It's like I remember how to be a person now instead of just my job, and that's because of you. Well, you're a great person. So are you, shall we? Barry and I walked into the rehearsal room. Room. His mom saw us, and her face was full of rage. What are you still doing here? I just fired you. You can't do that. Excuse me? Mom, enough is enough. You keep trying to tell everyone how to do their jobs, and it's not okay. Madison's work has been great press for us, and I wanted her to stay. So, I'm done. You're fired. It's my tour, so I'm in charge. I appreciate everything you've done for me, but it's time to go. How could you cut me out of your life like this, Barry? I'm not cutting you out. Maybe you're not my manager anymore, but you're always my mom. Can't that be enough? Enough. <sighs> wow. Fine. If that's what you want, no matter the differences, remember, I love you, son. I love you too, mom. Later that night, as I was filming Barry's concert, suddenly I heard him call my name. He was calling me on stage. Oh no. Hey everyone, give it up for my friend Madison. She's the one who taught me to stay true to myself and follow my heart. Believe in yourself and you can achieve anything. I waved, then sat down with Barry at the piano and went live. As we played, the audience sang along, danced. It was such a rush, but better than that was playing my favorite song in the world with one of my favorite people in the world. When we were finished, the crowd roared. That was something. So Barry, would you ever consider going out with you? I thought you'd never ask. Later when I went backstage, suddenly my phone started buzzing in my hand. Hello? Madison, I'm a producer for MTV. I've been watching your channel and just caught your live duet with Barry. What would you say about hosting your own travel and music show with us? Uh, I'd say that sounds great. Today, I'm not just a music influencer, but a top name on MTV. And I am glad I followed my dad's advice to follow my dreams. And you should too.